how does accelerated self-healing really work? Your body's always healing, but there's limitations to that based on having the wrong things, like a toxin, having damage, injury, having a lack of the right things, not just material substance, like nutrients, or, or uh, a healing environment with uh, natural stimuli that our genetics are, are designed to respond to, like herbs and botanical medicine, but also energy and information. So if we can read your body's responses to its environment and vary the stimuli and see actually what produces a stress response and what produces a relaxation of that stress response, that's the best way, in my opinion, to design a complete program. If we can find a total, uh, total program, formulated total program for you of material and energy and information that puts your body, mind, and spirit in a more balanced, coherent state where everybody's, all the, all the team members are working together on the same uh, actions, working efficiently, not overworked and underpaid, not, not you know, out of energy and unable to, to work, uh, but all working on in a balanced way. That's where we get dramatic changes in the energy pattern, even in a one month's time. How does accelerated self-healing really work? Your body is always healing. It's always facing challenges to that healing. New challenges from the environment, diet, you know, damage, <clears throat> toxins, and also trying to, healing is <clears throat> often about trying to complete past healing processes, past stresses that at the time weren't, you didn't have the resources to completely uh, clear and, and balance. So as, as you progress in the healing process and we find what particular uh, support you need for a given month, you're, you'll be dealing with you know, current stresses, but more so with past stresses. We call this retracing, a term that comes from the field of homeopathy, where they've watched the process for over 200 years to see how we uh, go back through clearing and healing and completing layers of, of, of healing processes that we didn't complete in the past. It's kind of like a, a, an agate, a rock that deposits in layers one on another. And if you're going to dissolve that agate, think of those layers as past stresses that, that you didn't have the resources to completely heal in the past. We're going to dissolve the outer layer and then the next layer and the next layer will become accessible as we go along. It's a progressive process. And so there's a flow to that. And about once a month is a good uh, amount of time in most cases to complete one of those layers. Rarely we'll see a very similar layer where there's you know, a huge amount of a certain toxin deposit. We'll see that carry through for multiple months. Uh, but we need to, to make maximum progress for accelerated self-healing, one month follow-up to Take a course correction to redesign the program, to formulate it specifically for the issues that you're now facing at that time is the most effective. Uh, for, for simply uh, preventive support, if you're happy where you're at and you want to not run into uh, you know, too many lumps and bumps on the path uh, in life, you know, there are always the unexpected things, but in terms of, of keeping the body functioning as well as it is, we find that uh, about once a season, about every three months, is the minimum the people that we've worked with over the last 30 years to keep things on an even keel and not have to face surprises. Oh no, you know, I wish I had known this was coming. I would have, you know, like the t-shirt that says, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. Uh, we all eventually get there to that point. So the basis of how the process actually works is that we are communicating, not just with the mind, not just with words, to, to hear your symptoms as you experience them. That's an important aspect that, that only you can give us, but also to read your body energy <clears throat> and the information content of what your body is doing. We know that the conscious mind can only process a very, very small amount of information compared to what the body as a whole, the body, mind, and spirit are working with on a subconscious and even unconscious level, things like epigenetic. Every cell has its sort of its level of consciousness is how I think of it. It has cellular consciousness 
and the, the genes respond to the environment. There's, there's sensors uh, on, the, on the, uh, the cell membrane and rec they receive, they're like a little antenna and they receive different kind of information about the environment of the cell. And for example, the big difference between a normal cell and a cancer cell is that the normal cell is in communication with its environment and with the rest of the body. A cancer cell acts like it's not part of a body, it doesn't know what tissue, it, what organ it's in, what kind of tissue it's supposed to be, because it's actually out of communication with the rest of the body. And so to restore the, that communication function by clearing the deposition of toxins and proteins and all the things that go into the, the, the acids, the waste of inefficient metabolism, the toxins that are in there that, that impaired the metabolism in the first place, those are all the kinds of layers that have, we have to go through with any kind of imbalance.